Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV4. I'm Mike Bushman. I'm joined by Chris Stevens and Colton Miller. And we're here at LaVille High School, where your Culver Cavaliers will be taking on the Lancers tonight in a Hoosier North Athletic Conference contest. Um, both teams uh, looking pretty good overall this season. I think very similar loss histories here. 6-2 um, and 5-3. and 6-2 yep. LaVille, 5-3 and three yep. Culver. Um, main difference coming in the fact that LaVille has defeated Judson and Judson bested Culver opening game of the season. Other than that, their losses are both to Knox and Pioneer. Um, so we'll wrap up the 2019 regular season here tonight on what couldn't be much more of a contrast from last week's weather-wise. Um, yeah, in a calm, clear, uh, mild evening tonight. And... Uh, LaVille's just run through their senior night festivities. Uh, they've, uh, Will Hostrauser's done a good job of putting the quality product out here the last few years for the Lancers, and we expect a pretty good contest here tonight. We apologize, ladies and gentlemen, if we lost you for a minute there with our audio. We try our best to bring you a seamless a seamless game, but every now and then an audio cord gets unplugged. But I think that we're uh, I think we're good to go now. Um, I, I would say if you want to take us and our numbers, you want to take them and their numbers, that way it's just easier. Okay, so just That's not accurate. This. Coach Bushman was on the fix well, I, immediately I'm a, like a ninja. I'm going to take blame for that. I, I didn't give Colton a lot of slack up there on the audio cable, so I think when he went to move it, it popped right out. He was trying to catch our boys coming in, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that one. As I, Like I said, it looked awfully tight up there when I went to check, but we're back in order now and gave him a little bit of slack, so it should be good for the rest of the broadcast. And kudos to the help from the LaVille fans. Absolutely. That helped us get the audio cord back up, and also the hospitality mm -hmm. shown us by the LaVille Lancers here as we're uh, – we're calling this game at LaVille, so we appreciate their space and their hospitality that they've given us. 
Yeah, very, very generous here. Not only giving us the space, but also giving us uh, convenient space. Get us over here by their Wi-Fi. And even gave us a slice of pizza. Mm. Bruno's. Absolutely. So we go through the ceremonial kick, or, uh, ceremonial toss here, rather. Looks like we'll be defending north to start with. I didn't signal who's getting the ball. I did not signal who had the ball. I thought I missed it, but. Oh, he's going to signal. He's, okay. I got gotcha. you. Doing the pleasantries. Yes, yes. defers. LaVille will receive the ball at the south end zone. All right, so we're going to kick off to start things, which is the way I like it. Mr. Mike Kelly, the headlines for Mr. Jeff Myers. The line judge is Mr. Dave Houghton. The umpire is Mr. Bruce Hershey. And our referee tonight, Mr. We should be in for a great football game here tonight. Yeah, sure, I sure would expect that. Um, looks like LaVille's kind of been all over the map here in terms of the number of points they put up. I'm looking down here at a 59 and a 63 and a 14 and a 3. You know, so there they've they've had some yo-yo gains, and we've kind of been the same way offensively. Um, we've had some 40, 50-point games and some where we really struggled to get it in the end zone. But I think uh, consistently, though, our offensive uh, our offensive game has been pretty straightforward. Yeah. Three to four hundred yards on yeah. the ground, almost every game. It's going to be a matter of whether or not we can stop the skill players at the uh, skill positions. I think for uh, that they have at Laville. Yeah. Well, and looking down this, pretty much if we can get into the twenties, we are good to go. Our one exception that would be the Judson game and I think everybody would take that as an aberration as we pretty much let that slip right through our hands there in the, in the last about 10 minutes of that game we were up by t about two and a half touchdowns I think going into the fourth quarter and just couldn't keep things together yeah literally dominated almost every uh, yep like we had it doubled up yardage wise even yep Turned other than the, the ones that matter which are turnovers yep. and points yep ball's gonna fall dead almost jumped up by the Cavs who kicked that? That's Jake. Jake. I think they're giving Tucker another week to rest his bad wheel and make sure he's ready for the postseason run. So LaVille takes over offensively from the 30-yard line. Far hash. Rangers start first and 10 at the 29. So Bill comes out with twins coming this way. They're going. I'm gonna walk up. Hip shotgun there. A wing away. One back in the backfield. A little toss. toss. Nobody. No, nope, we got. They blocked that up really well around the outside. We did not get that closed off at all. Comes up with about a 17-yard run there. Curious if they got a throw out of that. It almost like he yeah. wanted to square his shoulders up to throw that for just a second. To Number 23, Andrew Dill. At least give us something to think. Of. They got a they got a uh, light up down marker over there. It's impressive. Ooh. Fancy. No twins away this time. Got a wide out this side. Again, a back in the backfield. We got a tight end over here as well. Option play going reverse. A little option there. Got it run down in the backfield. Trevor Thomas did. Get around him. But couldn't quite come up with the tackle there. Got to do the yep. one job of making sure they don't get outside. Of Absolutely. Here. Absolutely. And uh, Trevor and Hunter made him made him earn it. He just was able to keep enough space away from those guys. And as you said, with no, with no outside contain, that's it's just a matter of running away from those tackles long enough and getting to the outside. So we'll be second in about one and a half here. Looks like number 10 for LaVille, Aiden Doyle's calling the shots at quarterback. We're having some 
get the clock sorted out here. Still trying to get this clock going. Did they got it figured out now? Okay. Stay in the shotgun here. Yeah, they run right off tackle, but I think it's enough for the first down there. <coughs> yeah, plenty for the first down. About a four-yard gain. Let's take it nearly to the 40-yard line here. Still within the 40s here, so Culver has time yeah, to kind of yeah, wake absolutely. up here. Absolutely. We'll make it. All right, so Laville's going to bring, it's like quads this time. Still put it back in the backfield here. Works to the other side. Linebackers adjust. Going to go right at Draw the middle. Play up the middle. That just was too easy. Picks up about seven, eight. Going to make it second and two. Tackle made by 52, Drake Gross. At this point, working pretty efficiently, too. They've not even run two minutes off the clock yet. All right, Cavaliers with their four-man front looking to stop on a second short here. A little blitz coming. Go out to the flats. Nice, nicely blocked up there. Sullivan. Got a tackle better than that. Missed tackle by Sullivan. Brought down by Thompson. We're going to have to tackle yep. low. We yep. Have to learn from our mistakes. Yep. Push ankles together and lasso them on down if we have to. We out of bounds. I think it stopped the clock. So Lancer's on a first down. No motion across here. To go by, hand off. There we go. That's the tackle Jacob we're looking Fisher for. Jacob Fisher in the backfield. Senior Jacob Fisher kind of <laughs> saying, okay, we're, we're done giving up positive right now, yardage. I'm going to stop one here. It's a great job. Keep Sherman. Charged. Gabe Sherman comes in yep. for Hunter uh, Evans. He got trips away this time. Wide out this side. They come off the edge here. They're going to throw here. It's going to maybe an outside blitz going. Yep, here it comes. Goes over the head. Caught in the flats. Nobody there. Nope, three, you know, three guys out, only two guys defending. Yep. Somebody's going to be open. Mm -hmm. In that situation, we got to get, I think, a little more heat on the quarterback if we're going to be having, again, it's, you got to pick one poison or the other, but didn't seem like those outside linebacks were coming quite aggressive as you'd want them to if they're not going back and pass coverage there. Trips over there again. Not really. <laughs> Hammers are right at the middle. It's going to be close. By a host of they may just call it. That play is good enough for a Lancer. All right. Well, we're just getting. Pretty much beat any way they want to. The only thing they haven't done is throw over our heads, and that may be coming soon. Maybe going corner of the end zone here. These formations they have. Going right back inside. And pushes forward, gets probably three yards there. Maybe four. Maybe second and six. Go back to the line, bringing twins this side again. 
pretty deep back in the backfield this side too. Maybe pitching to him. Yep, indeed they do. They hooked around the outside, and he's in. Once again. Missed opportunities to tackle and not getting outside contained. It's going to be very tough to stop this offense. We can't do a better job of those two things. On for the extra point. I haven't seen a lot of these out of not only the Cavaliers, but other teams this year. Oh, almost got blocked. Yep. A little, a little too much zest there out of young Sullivan. Roughing the kicker called against Culver. So we're going to take this penalty on the conversion and go back out and maybe try to get two points instead of one out of this. As well as our offense is working, I'm surprised they didn't do that straight away. They had one, one play that didn't go for at least four yards, I think. Still spreading things out even now. I guess they only brought a wide out to each side. And an under center this time. Be a nice little uh, token yeah. if we were to get a stop here. Straight ahead handoff. No and he's going to fall forward, I think, and get in. Oh, they called it no good. All right, outstanding. So D line does a good job there, kind of holding stout there, saves us a point. And uh, we'll take a break as they're getting reorganized. This is Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. All right, back here at Laville High School. Your Cavaliers down 6-0, ready to put their offense on the field. See what the Lancers have defensively for the Cavaliers. So far, uh, we've been able to move the ball against just about everybody we've played. Um, I'd say Pioneer probably doing the best job of stopping us, but we're talking about the second-best team in 2A in the state there, so no big surprise. We still had some success offensively even against Pioneer. Um, and even in the games we haven't put up a lot of points, it's been more a matter of turnovers than it has been a matter of not being able to get our offense to work. Um, and as you Cavalier faithful know, we've got plenty of tools back there in the backfield. So we'll see what we have in store this week. Just a reminder, the junior class is having a baby. This should be. Uh, Thank you for your support. We've got this correct. I think this should be battle for third place in the conference. I might go to Judson if we win, though. I think they they could potentially finish five and three. Um, to be four and three in the conference. Which is where we would be as well. Damian Sullivan learning a little bit yep, from last absolutely. week's game. Absolutely. This Cavaliers will take over the 20 yard line. 7.36 left in the first quarter, trying to answer back the touchdown they gave up to LaVille. That roughing the kicker actually it turned ended out up working <laughs> out for the Cavaliers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so nothing new out of the Cavs. Double tight, T formation. Donovan Ziaja under center. Straight ahead to, oh, no. Yeah, it was straight ahead to Detmeyer. Yeah. I'm going to get five or six out of that. Get him the looks of it. Yep. On the carry. Uh, More like a long four. Yeah. It's all right. We do that every time. We'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are. They're walking there 40 go. more. Okay. I do okay. believe that is Dave Houghton on the near side of the field there officiating. Been doing it for years, <laughs> decades. I think it's. Fakes out the entire Laville defense there. They thought they had that bottled up. I even heard the crowd yelling, yeah. Well, you know, and, and we hear that from coaching yeah. staffs and fans uh, from both sides that, mm -hmm. you know, the Cavs really do a good job of uh, hiding that ball. And We watch them every week, and they fool us right. at least twice a game. And, and even from our bird's nest yeah. where we have a, uh, a good view. Uh, I know the, uh, the uh, Pioneer coach was giving them props last week mm -hmm. for having such a hard time finding out who has the ball. That again to 46, pounding straight ahead. Steady diet of Dittmeyer. Yep. So about three. Four, three and a half. I'll call it three and a half. Second and about, second. I'll call it second and seven. Cavaliers move to the line, working down towards six minutes left here. The hand up to Jalen this time. He's dragging some people. He's out in the open field. Oh, almost had a breakaway there. But again, that first hit did a good job of slowing on just enough to let the blue shirts come over and stop them for just a first down. Only an 11 yard gain. James Betcher on the tackle for the Rangers. So we cross midfield, cross the six minute mark. Cavalier offense is working well so far. Hand off to Dittmeyer again. That's going to be stopped for no gain. Right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Maybe even Houghton. Dave's got him for maybe a half a yard. Yeah, hey, no, maybe not. I think it's a uh, no gain. Two inch loss even. Don't see that too often. Our big boys up front can push just about anybody. So see how we respond to that with a second and 10. Donovan brings the play in. Enough this time to Carter Stevens. Gonna try to push the piles he's want to do and picks up about five. Maybe a long four there, so maybe a second and a or third and about five and a half here. Definitely four down territory if history is gonna ring true for the Cavaliers here. Yeah, we'd like for it to be fourth and one. I'm sure we'll go for a hard count here and try to get him to jump. Now this time to Zach, and again, he stopped at the line. That middle stuff's not working. They've, I think they've crowded the in, in between the tackles there a little more than we're used to seeing, and we're going to have to go around the outside if we're going to be getting anything here, at least off tackle. I'm not sure that I'd go for it. I think Coach Zander's going to. The Betcher brothers in on the tackle for Maybe the go hard count, hard count, hard count punt. We could we could take a penalty here even and be fine to punt. So that maybe is maybe what he's going for. Can do that. I would almost run the clock down to about three and give it a good hard hut and see if we can get in the jump. Nope, gonna hand it off. Hands it off to Jalen, who's around the corner and out of bounds. We got a flag though. King on the carry for the Cavaliers. Brooks and Watts knock him out of bounds. That run. I mean, no flag. That hurts over here. Said there was a flag out there. I guess there isn't one. 
Thank goodness. Yeah, no kidding. Well, that's why Coach Zaner's yeah, the head coach, absolutely. and I'm up here calling the game. Okay, we're inside the 40. First down. Hand off again to Jalen. Gets about three, so it'd be second and seven. Watts on the tackle for the bill. Second down. Down inside three minutes now. Okay, we need the ball. Probably be snapping this about five seconds left in the play clock. Got a throw this time. Make a cross. Oh, just off the mitts of Marquez, Marquez. Anderson. Good thing he knocked it down. Absolutely. All right, should be third and seven here. Certainly looking at two downs here, so might see a little off tackle as our middle run didn't work so well last time. Again, Laville is really cramping things in between the tackles here. I'm going to go ahead and hand to 46. Not much, but not uh, not nothing. I was to 40. No, it wasn't 46. I think called it wrong up here. I let him. I let him talk me into it. Yep. I knew what I was talking about. Okay, so we'll be fourth and four here. But this is a common Carter Stevens down. The fourth and about three to five yards has been something he's done a pretty good job with this year. So I'm curious to see if Coach Zander goes that direction or if he. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Jalen. Yeah, he may here. bounce to the outside with Jalen. That was pretty successful last time we were in this situation. This game. We can go ahead and do an option look here. Fake pitch by Donovan. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Ball goes back to LaVille. Aiden Doyle on the tackle for the Lancers as the defense picks up a stop. Aiden Culver will turn the ball over on down. All right, so um, took about five minutes off the clock, but couldn't come up with any points here. Give the ball back to LaVille, and uh, based on how their offense went, pretty good pretty good field position here coming out at 30. Again, we had two legitimate stops of, on their uh, offensive plays. One, uh, it's a nice tackle by Jake Fisher, and the other was the two-point conversion stuff. Officials get got some things sorted out. I'm going to leave the Villa back to the line. They're up 6-0, trying to extend the lead on the Cavaliers. Got twins away. They're back in the backfield, an offset back in the backfield. Going to bring motion across. Hand off right at the middle. Again, some drag down tackles by the Cavaliers. We really got to hit and drive back. We're big enough and strong enough. There's no reason to try to rope people around the waist and drag them down. Yeah, not sure. Not sure that I like the uh, demeanor of the Cavaliers uh, tonight so nope. far, both offensively and defensively. Yep, absolutely, I agree. All right, we're bringing trips this way. We get suggested over here, guys. Still only have two guys over here covering the. Okay, he's gonna motion away. That'll help. Yeah, we'll stop that for a loss. A little, a little bit of a good play there for the Cavaliers. We'll work down toward a minute left. Second and 11 here. Runs this way again. One back in the backfield. 
Quads, looks like, actually. Good pressure. Was that off the official? Yeah. <laughs> Good defensive play by the stripes there. Aiden Doyle's pass intended for Dill is incomplete. Third down. And while we're waiting, we will be bringing you uh, at least uh, Culver volleyball action tomorrow from West Central starting at 11 a.m. Um, then depending on how they fare, possibly covering the championship game that evening. Did we confirm that they are our only RTC team in the tournament still? I believe so. I, I believe Argus fell to West Central last night, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Doyle's pass intended for Watts. Pulls incomplete. Fourth down. All right, so 33 seconds left. They're going to go ahead and punt this away. Cavaliers come up with a nice defensive stop here. Going to get the ball back and get a chance to shake off that first offensive series. Good job avoiding the kicker there. Damien's decided to run, but at the moment he decided to run, realized he didn't quite have the ball secured, so he had to stop for a second, make sure he got that, which is good. Better than fumbling the thing away. The Cavaliers will take over. 25 seconds. That's a good time for a play here. About the 30-yard line. While we're waiting also on RTC tomorrow, we'll have the uh, boys uh, and girls soccer sectional or regionals sorry uh, both Argus boys and Argus girls participating so they're going to be bringing that to you as well that's back to back years for both boys and girls at Argus I correct? So. yeah it's impressive double tight T formation a little pitch back there pushing through the pile keeps moving his feet good run out about 12 yards picks up the first down so Jalen doing a great job here tonight picking up yards for the Cavaliers Good enough for a first down. Definitely been the Cavalier chewing up the most grass so far tonight. I think Coach Zaner's going to take these last 15 to talk to the boys, get a little extended time out between the periods here. Wise decision. As we tick down to about four seconds left here, we're going to take a quick time out between periods. Again, this is, R this is Culver TV brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. All right, back here to live action. Uh, Cavaliers, I think, kind of dodged a bullet there in that first period. Uh, that defensive stop was big, uh, as was the time they were able to eat off the clock, even though they didn't come up with a touchdown because they were not, we were not looking too good that first period. So hopefully get things sorted out, get off the field, talk to Coach Zayner a bit, come back out with a little new reviewed, renewed focus. Right, that run by Jalen takes him out to about the 43-yard line. The Cavaliers will start the second period. First and 10. Hand off again to Jalen. Chopped down this time, though, for about two-yard gain. It'll be second and eight. I'm going to say, really, though, I think both teams look, look, look a little like I can't wait till sectional type of deal here. Right. I know that uh, both teams have pretty solid draws going in the next week, and a lot of times that will kind of result in a, a bit of a flat performance as last Friday of the regular season. So both teams have an opportunity here to make a, make a big statement by 
really taking it to a good team. Just I wonder who will wake up first. And off again to Jalen. And good again. Stick. Yeah, again, just about a two yard gain there. That's out there by and Jake Martin on the tackle. I thought he was coming up limping, but I think he just so, dropped a. Yeah. A very well earned two yards because he was yeah, knocked back absolutely. two yards on that contact. Absolutely. <clears throat> Thompson coming in for Stevens in the backfield. Third and six here. Adam and Ziaja trying to, ooh, makes a little something out of it there. Comes out with, with again about two. So we'll be about fourth and four here. So we're gonna have to come up with something else. Or punt the ball away. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and go for it at midfield. Sending Carter back onto the field. Maybe even a long three here on this fourth down. Going under 10 seconds here. May even see one more hard count out of Donovan. Yep. We'll go ahead and call a timeout. Talk things over and see what the plan is. Fourth down. We'll take it with him. This is Culver TV brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, back here once again, coming out of the timeout. A few more seconds left here. Again, to remind you, the Cavaliers are on fourth down here on two straight, two, or sorry, three straight two-yard runs. Two by Jalen King, one by Donovan Ziaja. I didn't see a lot of personnel change in and out, so I'm guessing we're going to go ahead and go for this at midfield. Our last fourth down was unsuccessful on an option play. I wouldn't completely put it past the Cavaliers to go for yet another hard count, but we'll see what happens here. And off here to Jalen again. He's pushing the nope. pile. Did not get it though. Stop short. Turnover on downs. Lancers take over the ball. About the 47 yard line. 48 yard line. Brings him down. He was short, folks. Lancers get the ball on down. Slow gets the ball back. About 9.39 left. Twins are going away this time. One back in the backfield. Got a offset back here as well. A little pitch over. He's getting around the outside. He may just run this thing out. He's getting dragged down, but 16 yard gain. Colby Watts takes it inside the 35 yard line. Oh, just outside the 35 yard line. Must have stepped out a second before. Good pick up for the Lancers. And twins this side again, offset backs away. Another pitch out, almost picked off there by Thompson, or Thomas rather. Just gashing us now. Multiple 12, 15 getting, yard games. Getting the outside yep. with no contest. 42, Shane Sherman. I think we've got our outside guys firing inside and they're just going right around that. Who did I say ran that? 
Lancers run back out again. Same formation as last time. The throw there. Caught. Luckily toward the sideline because that was about to be another missed tackle. Sure gain there, but don't need much at this part of the field. It'll be second and eight here. Another out of bounds play. So we're eating about 30 seconds off the clock here coming this far down the field. Twins are going away. Oh, it looks like a quads this time. One back in the backfield. Motion across the trips. He's going to hand that off jet sweep. Good block on the outside. Got it pinned in. That'll be just enough to put him in good position here. Probably about third and four by the time they set this thing. Setting up third down. They're going quads again. If they get tighter down to the goal line. They're going more spread in their offense here. Motion back across here again. Hand off inside. Cuts back. And he's right down near the goal, but they're not signaling a touchdown. I think it's going to be first and goal from probably about the one and a half yard line. That's good enough for a Lancer. So we'll see if the Cavs can come up with some goal line magic here and hold the Lancers out. Not look too promising on this drive. Again, we're getting gashed pretty much every play. Go under center this time. Two backs in the backfield, like a pro formation. A little toss. And that should be good. Yep, he walks in. Let's take a look. Unchallenged. Yep, he's blocked up well. Got really no help on the outside. That's kind of been a issue for us generally this season, but I kind of feel like we reset about seven weeks tonight because we had been steadily getting better at that. Not not great, but it's, it's a problem, but we've steadily been getting better, and I feel like everything's reset this week on our outside contain. We'll go ahead and kick this time, up 12-0. Sarnecki's PAT yep. is good. Right, so they're going to reorganize here. Damien almost got a piece of that one too, but I think his roughing the kicker penalty earlier kind of caused him to hold up a little bit. Cavs down 13. As, as frustratingly as we've played tonight, we're still in a decent position to march the ball down the field, eat some time off the clock, punch one in, and get the ball back at halftime. So, again, it's going to be about demeanor and posture as we go out there. It's if, if we can come out with a little bit of swagger and be willing to smack these guys in the mouth and move the ball two to four yards at a time, I think we'll be okay. If we come out getting deflated when things don't go 12 or 13 yards, it's going to be a long night. <clears throat> Booted one of the end zone last time, so we'll see what the same strategy kickoff, but they're going to try to go for something a little different here. Sullivan King, deep for the Cavaliers. Leighton Zarnecki tees it up for the Lancers. And a big boot. It's going to be fielded this time. Fake reverse. And solid return. Solid coverage. Not really fooled much by the fake reverse, but something for them to think about. 
going forward, especially coming out of halftime. All right, Cavs back to the line of scrimmage here. And up goes Dittmeyer. Again, there's just not much there between the tackles. They're really packing it in tight and going to just dare us to try to run around the outside. Second and seven here. Dittmeyer on the carry. Dominic and student on the tackle for the Lancers. Second down. Move under 10 on the play clock. Better get this thing snapped so we're not picking up a delay game here. There we go. Now we're set. Again, things really tough up the middle for the Cavaliers. Maybe about third and six. Jalen not finding much there. Not this time to Carter. Puts his head down, tries to push the pile. Gain of a couple again. We'll probably be about fourth and four. Brooks and Student in on the tackle for the Lancers. Maybe fourth and three. Looks like we're still going to go ahead and go for it, even at this, even even in the in our own territory here. We're gonna go ahead and go for this one. Try to make some something happen here. Taking down about halfway left in the uh, second period. Not really time to hard count here, so it looks like we are going to go ahead and go. Yep, hand off again to Stevens. Sheds a tackler and he hits somebody hard there going down. A good job by LaVille getting low. I, th I thought that was really gonna be a run over by Carter, right. but he, he did. And we called Zarnecki. Zarnecki nearly dropped to his knees as if to say, I'm not I'm not getting run over by you, big fella. And that's a smart tackle. Good tackle. Yeah. Good tackle. You got you got 245 running at you. You don't want to take that up in the shoulder. You don't want to take that even at the hips. You want to get low at the knees or ankles there and try to, again, push feet together and get somebody to trip. Just a couple good runs there by Carter Stevens. Gets Cavs out to a first down. A toss here. Back inside, though. Again, just not a lot there between the tackles. It does pick up about, I think, about three, four. which is yeah. three or four, which is about the most we've gotten on a middle run in quite a while. Just, just the way that unfolded most weeks, that's going to be a 15, 20-yard run, but they're really packing it in tight there inside. And I understand we we got to go inside some. We we go outside all the whole time. We're going to be in trouble that way too because they can just guess what we're playing. So, about as good a second down position as we've been in for a while. Second and six here. Can't be too casual here. We, we have time, but not a lot, not a whole lot. We want to make sure we get in the end zone here. So hand off to Dittmeyer, who's going to drag the pile almost to the first down line there. Kind of willed it through down to about a third and one. Code Singer does have two timeouts left as well. Indeed. So I think we can. I think we've got the time if we can just get it there. Third and one play here. You know, straight ahead to Zach, who does pick up the first down. That'll give us a chance to take a few seconds to get this with the clock stop to get our wits about us, get a play in. A little substitution in here for the Lil Lancers. They're bringing in some larger bodies. They're going to try to plug up that middle again. Cavs have found a way to find a seam there to get in the middle between the tackles. A 
throw this time on first down. Throw is to, oh, just off the hands. If you think he take one more step before he reaches up for that ball. For number 24, Damian Sullivan is incomplete. Not a bad throw and a, a decent route by Damian there. He just stopped about a step too soon to go for that ball. I think if he runs one more step, that's going to fall right in his hands. So it'll be second and 10 here. So we're going to have to waste another timeout here. Yep, I have to burn one up. That's not good. We'll go ahead and take it with him. This is Carver TV brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. We even get you a vehicle history report. It's for your peace of mind because we treat our customers like family. You even get free car washes for life. So get more for your money and more for your trade with certified pre-owned at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Right back here at LaVille High School. Cavaliers are moving the ball. But it looked like a little bit of confusion or, or not maybe sure even where the play clock was. I didn't, it seemed like people were necessarily confused, just a little too slow getting up to the line. Ended up having to burn a timeout. Puts us down to one timeout left. The real unfortunate thing there was that was after an incomplete pass. Clock wasn't even running. So just curious to see if that comes back to haunt us here as we wrap up the first half. Second and 10 play here. Let's see what Coach Zaner's drawn up. We're looking right down the line of scrimmage here. Handoff goes to 40. Good burst of speed. Picks up about five. It's going to be third and five there. And Carter's still a little preoccupied with fumbling the ball there. Yep. He did. Yep. He let them pull him back a little bit there at the end of that run where he's got to be falling forward. Mm hmm. Fortunately, though, up to that point, he had a nice burst of speed to yeah. get him to that spot. So, Yeah, not a bad run. Just yeah. uh, like to see a little more, him have a little more confidence there and just blast forward. And if the Zach goes right at the first down marker, I think they're going to go ahead and give it to him. They're waving their hands to stop clock, so I'm guessing they go ahead and give him this first down. And there's the signal. Yep. So that'll put us out to right almost to the 40 and move past the three minute mark. We're gonna start that clock back up again. So we're gonna get to the line and get this thing snapped. Again, we're down to one timeout. We'd like to have that in our back pocket in case we're down at a goal line and we need it for st strategy purposes, not necessarily clock purposes even. We hand up the Zach again, straight ahead. He kicks up about two. We second eight. Dittmeyer on the carry. James Betcher and Hominick on the tackle for the Lancers. Second down. We want to hustle up to the line here. We want to be able to continue to run our offense and not put ourselves in a position where we're just going for broke as the half runs out. We want to be able to do our do our thing as we're going into the end zone here. Hand up to Jalen. He go. finds a seam. Again, just about broke one, but Blue Shirt's doing just enough to slow him down to get the cavalry around and keeps him from getting the big yards, but does pick up a first down. Gets things down to about the 26-yard line. Let's go. Let's get that play yep. in. Be we'll ready to play go. Get, we would like to snap this before the two-minute mark, I'd say. And the jog up to the line here, boys. Sense of urgency. Going to throw again. And we fall with the ball. Ja LaVille ball. LaVille ball. Pass protection kind of broke down there. And Donovan kind of lost grip of the ball and had to go back to LaVille with about two minutes left. So Culver has uh, got to be frustrated now. Had a good solid drive going. A lot of people touching the ball and turn it right back over to the Lancers. It's just it. I don't see a lot of frustration or emotion otherwise. No, we're just pretty 
I don't know. Unplugged. Could LaVille maybe try to chuck one right here on you know, quad formation. Here comes Trevor off the edge. Goes across the middle. Doyle's pass intended for Dill falls incomplete. He was looks like Trevor had him in his crosshairs and yeah. then pumped the brakes. And coming across the middle there, I think he was the Lancer player was thinking about the yards he was going to run and ended up not letting the ball go all the way into his hands. So look at that, you got quads again. Shotgun formation they've liked so much so far tonight. They throw it again out of the flats this time. And he steps safely out of bounds, stopping the clock. Advancing the ball. I believe right at, I'm not sure if it was quite a first down. I think he stepped out just before the first down mark. So it'll be third and short here. LaVille does have all three timeouts, so they've got plenty of chance to get this. I think they're going to call for a measurement here. But LaVille has uh, all three timeouts, so they've got time to try to, if they don't have a uh, first down here, to try to surge this ahead with a run up the middle and <clears throat> pick it up that way. They don't need to throw and step out of bounds, et cetera. That is going to be a first down. Oh, barely. So they're going to call it first down. LaVille at about their 39-yard line. Our 30, yeah, their 39-yard line. No, it's their 39-yard line. I'm on the wrong side of the 50 here. Come on, quads again. Showing blitz, back enough. Now coming right back at it. Pressure the quarterback. Breaks contained. Flag Flag holding. Be a holding. A 20-yard gain, but fairly certain that's coming back. Yep, it's coming back. So this will be a first and really long now because that was on that scramble pretty deep in the backfield. So. It's one of the nice things about you get pressure up the middle. It can cause your quarterback to break contain, and that's the kind of thing that can happen is you can pick up a holding penalty as the offensive line is trying not to freak out and get the quarterback smacked. Should be first in about, I'm going to say first in shoot, 30. That's probably where they're up walking this off to. Penalty is holding against LaVille. Yeah, pretty close. Maybe in 35. So quads again. Backfield offset even more. He slings it. Oh, that would have been trouble for us if he'd been able to run underneath that. Not a bad throw considering he was th running for his life and just slinging it off his back foot. <clears throat> I'd like to see us get some uh, defensive back help there with that ball as long as it was in the air. If we're keeping kind of on someone, that's when we should be able to pick off and give ourselves a chance here with about 90 seconds left to punch one in. But we'll see what happens here in this next play. Still just second down, 29 to go. Quads again, bringing the running back in a little closer to the quarterback this time. Maybe some protection. Nope, fake handoff. Nope, real handoff. Thought for sure they were running there. Maybe just going to try to eat the clock out here and uh, – get us into halftime, or get them to halftime without us a chance to score. Hunter Lout on the tackle for Colbert. Drake Gross in for the tackle. Yeah. 
I don't know if we'll call a timeout here and try to go for something big as we wrap up half or not because they're going to have to run a play and then go fourth down here. So we'll see what happens. Going to jet sweep it. He's got room to run, but... Oh, pushed him out. Dill on the carry. That'll help. So the Bills are going to have to snap this, and we don't have to burn a timeout. Well, there's a chance here, Coach. We might be able to punch one in. Who knows? Keep everybody in front of you. Yep, and, and nothing silly on the return here. I mean, unless it's absolutely certain that you can catch it on the run, find a seam and go. Damien probably needs to get the heck away from this because we'd have to take quite a roll for us not to get good field position out of this. Back to and he does go ahead and try to take it and gets tackled immediately. At least didn't roll any further. He secured it up. We'll take it about the 33 yard line. 32 seconds left and a timeout. So the Cavalier is able to put up a couple stops here this yeah. half, just not able to find the end zone, which yeah. has been rare. Yeah, it's, it's, it actually flip flop from where we usually, our strengths and weaknesses are. Oh, we gotta get this playoff, we can't. We got 20 seconds up, we cannot use our timeout now, not being sure what we're doing here. We gotta get the ball, get this thing snapped. And off goes to Jalen. He's got not enough. It's going to be about three. Again, great job by LaVille, making sure he's slowed down enough to get the people around. I think Coach Zanders is going to go ahead and ride this off in halftime here. I don't think he's going to – I don't think he's calling timeout. And we're going to let those last few seconds take off, and they're going to go ahead and – Hit the showers are halftime, a little longer halftime now on account of the fact that they're going to be doing a band presentation and their homecoming festivities. Culver down 13-0 to the LaVille Lancers. Again, this is Culver TV brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free. All right, welcome back here. Getting ready to start the second half. Cavaliers, again, down 13-0. That's it. Overall, I, I, I think we got just slightly outplayed by the Lancers in the first half. Um, not, not a lot. Um, obviously enough for them to score 13 points and to hold us to none, but did have an untimely turnover, um, fumble, and then gave one over on downs. Had a couple nice defensive stops. Um, haven't forced a turnover ourselves yet, and that's something we've been doing, I think, just about every game for the last several weeks here. So maybe we'll find one of those in the second half. I'd say generally speaking, as we kind of talked about at the end of the first half, both teams just seem a little, I, I don't know, it's like over the regular season, I guess. Everybody's just, I don't know if everybody's thinking about sectional or, or what's going on here, but I think if, if one team can kind of wake up and, and really good after it, it's gonna, it, this could turn into a, a runaway real quick because everybody just kind of seems going through the motions tonight on both sides. So, yeah. Trying to figure out what uh, Coach Zanger and Coach Kling are doing out here in the center of the field. Oh, they're obviously wanting uh, wanted to flag there, and they got it. Yep. Anyway, yep. halftime scores, uh, Winnemac uh, at Triton, Triton 12, Winnemac 7. At Rochester, McConaughey is up 27 to 13 against Rochester. At Tippy Valley High School, you have Southwood 7, Tippy Valley 0. Then, of course, here, if you're watching, it's 13 0 LaVille. It's open to peg a uh, Lake Station score. They're playing South Newton tonight. And, uh, but then I'm going to get an update on Max Preps on that one. So. I believe Knox is 
<sighs> Battling Caston, which yep, should be correct. should be no problem for Knox. Uh, and then of course Pioneer up big on Judson. Did I hear somebody say? Yes, yes. And, and I think last time I checked, Knox was all over Caston. I'm not coming up with that score right now, but I'm not finding it here on my list. But the last I checked, it was two or three scores they were up, and it was the first quarter. So. So Coach Hostrauser is down there speaking to the uh, stripes right now. There was a flag thrown. It looked like the Cavalier staff was <laughs> conversing with the stripes beforehand. Yeah. Obviously pretty adamant about something. Right. Well, it, what it is is you've got to be out here at that three-minute timer start, so otherwise it's a penalty. It's a delay of game. Or maybe it's an unsportsmanlike conduct. Um, regardless, I, I don't really – unless there was something blocking the LaVille Lancers from getting out here, I really don't know what argument – Coach Hostrauser has because, I mean, it's a pretty cut and dried situation. If you're not out here when that timer clicks over, that's a penalty. We had a, I know when I coached with uh, Andy Thomas, we had one of our middle school coaches was specifically designated to watch that time, come tell us at four minutes, come tell us at three minutes. And mm -hmm. depending on how far we had to go and depending on how much we wanted to say, you know, but you know, to get us out there and make sure we didn't incur that penalty. So unless he's thinking the clock started too soon or something, I, I don't know. I really know what the argument is. Um, and maybe maybe that's not the penalty. I, maybe there's something else going on that we're not yeah. aware of. But it seems to be all all hammered out now. Coach yeah. Hostrauser doesn't seem to be livid. That's from say up here. Someone say up here. I believe it is a delay of game penalty. Is how that's interpreted. Another reminder: tomorrow, I, uh, RTC will be bringing you the Culver. Uh, Oregon Davis match, and then I believe that West Central and Triton will follow after that. We will not be covering that. We will cover the championship game if Culver advances. If not, we will not cover that on RTC. And then RTC will also have boys and girls soccer regional coverage. Also, I want to remind you as we're starting to wrap up the regular season for our fall sports, we are going to move right into winter sports. I know that uh, the girls basketball team is running their conditioning and that sort of thing. I believe they start first official practice, not this coming, but I believe it's the week after. And then it'll just be a couple of weeks and they'll be right into their scrimmages. I know that our wrestling team is going to be started up conditioning after we get back from break and it'll be a couple weeks before we're doing regular practices and we'll be bringing you as much winter sports coverage as we can uh, on, on, Culver, on Culver TV and RTC TV4. And... Um, and I'm sure that if you're if you're watching from another school, scouting, or just enjoy the the local content, then you'll be covered too at the Rochester's and Argus's and and so forth throughout the area. Once again, you can go uh, to use the uh, RTC TV4 app, which you can get through um, the Apple Store or Google Play for your Android for you Android users or RTCTV4.com. On the hop, Damien snags it. May have a seam. Somebody got blocked in the back there, but they didn't call it. Damien's off to the races. Get behind the defense. He's a quick one. Go down. Nice return by Damien Sullivan. No flags, yeah, right? I think we might have a late hit flag. Our, our, they're, just, they're just congratulating Damien. It looked like we had a – I thought I saw someone pointing at the ground. Um, must have just been excited to get over there to Damien. That's the return he's been looking for all year. He's a, he's a quick one. I think we got away with a slight shove. It wasn't a full-blown block at the back. We got a, somebody put hands in somebody's back over here, so we we sneaked away with one there on a return. So Cavaliers take over in great field position, about the 33-yard line going in. See if we can use that big play as a little bit of a uh, boost here. A handoff up the middle. There, the pile. Pushing the pile. Forward. That's what we're used to seeing here. This will be second and five here, I think. Maybe second and a long five. Hey, a little, trotting a little more pep to the line here, so see if can turn that into six points. Handoff goes to 40. He cuts up hard. Going to push the pile himself. Pick up about four. Think we about third, maybe one and a half. Stevens on the carry for the Cavs. Nice run by Zach. Nice run by Carter. And went a nice position here on third down. 
certainly this is more of a scenario that we're used to than what we saw Absolutely. in the first half. So get up to the line here. Get this thing snapped quick. Get them thinking hard count. Let's just get right at them. And off straight ahead. Ford Rams tries to bounce. Be enough. I believe he got across. Chain gang was ready yep, to take moving. off, just waiting for the waiting for word. Hold on to that football, guys. Brought down by Evan Betcher. First down, Colbert. Hang on if we get to 40. And he's off, he's bursting. Oh, he's Good cut tackle. down. That was a great tackle. Carter was moving. Had the rug pulled out from underneath. Yeah. Him. Well, and and I'll 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 give credit to Carter there too. The reason he did is because he finally. I mean, he was took off. He saw that end zone and he was bursting for it. And they got right underneath his feet and scooped him off from underneath them. Lancer's doing a great job bringing down our big running backs tonight. Second, and very short here. Hand off again to Carter, pushing the pile. I think he fell forward there. First down and then some. Rod Pope on the tackle. That carried good. There's the signal. First down. First down. And we're just outside the 10-yard line, so they'll go ahead and keep the chain gang moving. <laughs> Hand off again to 40. Was that Zach that time? I thought it was Carter. I thought it was Carter also. It's kind of hard to tell numbers-wise. I'm looking through a couple panes of glass here. Jake Martin on the tackle from the bill. So another five-yard gain. It's been kind of the story of this whole drive here. Four to five, which as Coach Stevens pointed out, that's pretty much our offense there. Four to six per carry and keep the ball moving, keep the clock running. Another handoff to Carter. Shoves the pile forward. Sneaks it down to about the three yard line, four yard line. Looks like Mr. Houghton's on the four. Yep. Two plays to go four yards here. Look at, look for it to go to King here. Indeed. Twenty cuts back, tiptoes. Oh, just down, right at the goal line. Ticking past eight minutes. This is a huge play for both teams here. Big play here. Big play here. Straight ahead handoff. I don't think he got in. No signal. They're not calling anything yet. Trying to find it. Trying to figure out where the ball is. I think they're going to call. No good. There go. We're calling touchdown. They're calling no good. Officials are going to conference. Still talking it over. Yeah, LaVille's excited. Give me a first down, Lancers. Big stop there by LaVille. See how Culver responds defensively. Well, their backs are at it. So we'll see what we can come up with defensively. Thank you, so first and ten from the one coming out. 
Hand off, missed tackles, but managed to swarm back in there. Pick up of a couple, the second eight. Sullivan on the tackle for Culver. Second eight. Sends uh, just one out wide again here from LaVille. Packing things in a little more, trying to get their backs out of the end zone here. Again, good push, get themselves some room. So we'll be about third and five. So you got a little room to operate here. Mr. Steve Fox, if you could please report to They do have some, some space to maybe try to get something out and, and actually run a run a play more so than just surging forward. Cavaliers really, really got to buckle down here. Got to put heels in the dirt, not give this up. Respond, respond, respond. Handoff's going off tackle here. And he stopped. Short enough, I believe. Yeah. Forward progress gotten close. Yeah, it's kind of confusing the way he got shoved back, so I'll make sure I know where he landed. Yep. Fourth about fourth and three. Or fourth and three rather. And ticking past the six minute mark. And they're going to punt. Just cannot run into that kicker. So Betch had the last two carries. Good job staying away. Let that ball land. Whatever happens, happens. Get away from it. Get away from it. We'll take over at the 45, so kind of a deja vu here. Press the reset button, and five and a half left. We'll try to take the ball 45 yards into the end zone. Thank you, Steve. So get the ball set here, get the offenses and defenses switched back around. See what the Cavaliers look like here. See if they got the same pep that they had coming out right up until the time that they didn't get across the goal line, really. Yeah, two plays to get two yards. That's it's frustrating. Yep. Jane boys. Yeah, we're missing the chain gang here. I think we got... Now you get him set there. They're doing a great job over there. Hand up coming to Jalen. He's running hard, but they doing a good job defensively, really stuffing that hole and not letting him through. Pick up about, I still got about four yards. Five yards, take it. The second a long five here. Along with James Betcher, actually gain a five. Second and five. I need, I need to stop watching them and watching you. That's all right. You probably had it right. Well, they're sticking well, on the was standing on the 41. Exactly. So. Yeah, I'll go straight ahead to Zach. Pounds through. Grinds out a solid seven-yard gain there. Based on defensive reaction, I think they were thinking 40 was getting the ball again, but Carter did do a great job carrying the mail on our last drive, and that opened up a run lane for Zach straight up the middle. Hand off again to Zach. Very similar play. This one doesn't go quite for as many yards. Second eight here. On the carry. Jake Martin on the tackle for the Lancers. Second down. And up to Jalen, trying to find the outside, trying to run him. They get that bottled up. The third and long here. Trent Brooks, first truck on the scene. Jalen King, the carrier. Third and long. Oh, 
need your microphone for Cavs walk up with a three, about 320 by the time they snap the ball. They got to come up with a lot of yards here in just a couple of plays. And it goes to Jalen again. He's got some room. Does a juke. Another juke. Run to the side. Again, another team where he's got the speed to keep up with Jalen out there. He does a good job to keep on his feet as long as possible and turns what was almost a three or four yard gain into about a nine yard gain. So Get us out to the fourth and two, it looks like. Again, big play here. Ten seconds left in the play clock. Two and a half left in the game. Handoff goes to Carter. He bursts ahead and he's got some room. He gets a first down. Great run by Carter Stevens. Boy, again, there have been a lot of times we've seen that this year where after not getting the number call for three or four plays in a row, Carter Stevens comes up with a fourth down run, third down run, et cetera. And the senior does it again here. Gets Cavs back to first and ten. Working from inside the 20 this time. Hand off to Zach, and he's pushing the pile. Again, making what he can out of it. Picks up about three. Gets down to the 15-yard line. He's second and seven. Gain of four, Evan Betcher. Evan Betcher on the tackle for the bill. Hand off to Jalen. Again, some dancing, some moving, and some pushing the pile. Real close to a first down. Evan Betcher on the stop for the Third and one. Shoot, even less than that, maybe a foot. Going to be third and short. Come on, D. Come on, D. And off straight ahead to Zach. That was enough to get the first down there. All right, so here we are again. Standing at the 10-yard line. First down, four plays to go 10 yards. See if we can exercise the demons here. Straight ahead again. They do a good job of standing our boys up. Yep, absolutely. That's not easy to do. Took a no gain there. Well, I gave him two. Okay. I'm going to run one more play at least before we're down to fourth quarter. Second and goal. And off straight ahead again. Mm, Zach will we'll get it right again. to the goal yep. line. Right down at it. We're probably going to wind this on out. Foot line. Take I over the fourth quarter. Yep. Donovan's got something he wants to tell Coach. He's waving his arms and pointing at something. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a timeout with them as they go to, a go to the quarter break. This is Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Oliver Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. 
rates low as we have ever seen, and the best customer service you have ever experienced. All right, Cavalier fans, <clears throat> you did not have a disruption in your service. We haven't gone back 10 minutes. This is the same situation we found ourselves in <laughs> not that long ago. Um, Except for third and two, it's now third and a foot, I would yeah. say. Well, and a remarkably fast third quarter. Yeah. That was only about 16 minutes of real time there. That's what happens when we have the ball most of a quarter. And I will have to say that the Cavaliers did come back out of the second half with a little more pep yep, in their steps. Absolutely. I mean, they did not finish that drive. However, a couple good stops. They mm -hmm. had a drive, had it right there, had an opportunity to punch it in. And now we have that another opportunity here and have been playing well defensively. So let's smack this one in and try to get the ball back. And up goes to this Should be a stand-up. Let's take a look and again. And he's in. One of our very classic plays here, straight ahead to Zach, and he's in fairly easily. Cavaliers For the one -yard touchdown run. cut it down to a seven-point lead. We're going to do what we do and go for two. And straight ahead again. Steven and he's in. And up. Let's take a look. I wonder if there's a state record for two-point conversion scored because I feel like Carter's got about 600 of those this year. Carter Stevens. Stevens on a carry. Two-point conversion is good. So Cavaliers reel it into within five. Good work by the offensive line and Absolutely. the running backs there. Getting back to our pace of game. Well, and good job from everybody to people standing on the sidelines, people coaching, and people on the field of, as you said, shaking off what we did in the first half, coming out with a renewed focus and moving the ball twice, coming up with a score once, and getting a good solid stop as well. Curious to see, though, what we have when LaVille gets a chance to spread themselves back out again that causes some trouble in the first half. Our strength is when things are packed inside defensively. So, they have the opportunity to move around the outside or throw the ball. Hopefully we're not in trouble here. Curious if we see if we do anything silly with our kickoff here. We've, we've done some poochy stuff and some skidded along the ground stuff. So Jake's going to kick again. His was a short, high kick last time, so we'll see what he has for us. <laughs> Similar, not that high, not as high as I remembered. Cavaliers got there in time, just yep. again some cover. Trying to reach him with some arm tackles again, but regardless, the bill takes over near midfield. First down, the bill. So, this drive could be the game right here early in the fourth quarter. Wouldn't mind seeing them throw a flat route over to number 2-4 and have him pick one off and house it the other way. That would be a nice way to start this drive. A motion across. A little, little bit of a... Improper takeoff Dale there. They the let him get away with it. I'd, I'd never have too much complaint there because I feel like our right side of our line rolls forward Second early every seven. time. So, Jake Fisher on the tackle for the Cavaliers. Not bad there. Held him to two. On a play they had some pretty good success with earlier. So, yeah. it was, uh, they did a good job of cutting it in that time. Mm -hmm. Second and eight. Motion back this way. And get a handoff up the middle. So, a little too much for a play like that. Wasn't a first down, but a play like that, we well, yeah, got to be about a two yard gain. We gave about four. So they're going to be about third and three here. Eight yard line, the strain was called. 
Kind of loud trying to get things fired up in there. Good. Glad to see some emotion. Absolutely. Yep. We have twins this way. I right, we're going quads again. I watch them. They go right at the middle again. They run some draws out of this. Yep, and there it is. And Plenty. he runs through an arm tackle in the backfield. Across midfield. Down to the 44-yard line. Gives the Lancers the first down. You can hear Coach Hollenbaugh calling the plays out from across the field here. We're going quads again. Watch the throw to the flats this time on first down. There it is. Damage's a little too slow. Manages to keep it from getting too far. But it is a solid five-yard game for the Lancers. We're going to... Have a second and five here. Staying with their quad shotgun formation here. Motion. A jet sweep. Oh my oh, goodness wow. gracious. Still, still a, for a, a loss. Yeah, still for yeah. a loss, but wow, that could have been huge to stop that where it was. We have to go, stop reaching and go right. for their angles. Well, it, it, our tackling reminds me of, you know, you watch baseball players who just kind of swing and hope that they hit the ball, and that's kind of where our tackling is. We're just kind of lunging and just hoping that what we do disrupts their, their footwork. And the quads again. I haven't said it tonight, but this is a big play. <laughs> They're going to throw. Across the middle. Damian Sullivan oh, almost, almost picks it off. He had two hands on it. Incomplete. Fourth down. Not the worst thing in the world. No, I, we'll see here if LaVille is in fourth they're, down territory. They're running, they're running, they're running, they're running, they're running the crew out. Yep. Looks like Zarnicki will be back to punt. I think Damian's focus was getting his hands moving down. He seemed to be very adamant about not bopping that ball up in the air. All right, no roughing the kicker. Yeah, we'll Let the ball stay drop. Home. Stay got home. Nine eighteen. Get away from it. Oh my goodness! Did that go out? Yes. All right. That was Ponto. <laughs> got yeah, it his pinned at the second, at the two yard wow. line. Well, I will say if there is a team whose offense is designed to come out of the end zone, That's true. it is certainly ours. We got 9, 10, 95 yards. I like our Three odds Three timeouts. Here. Yep, I like our odds here. Nice punt. Yeah, it was, that was outstanding. But I still think a smart play by Damian, letting that thing go. You oh, don't absolutely. take any chances down there. Hand off here. I believe that was the Zach. Again, I'm looking through this window. It's kind of hard to see out of. Got up. a couple yards there. Yep. Two, maybe. Second and eight. On the carry, is that 46? Dittmeyer on the carry. Brought down by Hominick and Brooks. Second hand. Tucker Fisher. Spraying me. Has he played all year? He's just missed the last two games. Oh, a little jump action there. We'll get a flag, I think. I think that's on them. Yep. We get encroachment on the Lancers. Encroachment against the Bill. That'll help. Gives us a little room there. Yep. I don't feel like they walked out the full five there, but they know better than I do. Oh, always we get here? curious if uh, the other team can remain disciplined long enough to not jump the entire game. Yeah, yeah, because we're gonna make, we're gonna test them. I thought it, uh, at first I thought nope, these guys are <laughs> too disciplined, but we got them. 
Not sure what happened here. Uh, I think it was a, yeah, oh, okay. it was an official timeout. Get the clock running again. Yep, fire this back up. Get back on the line. Got a hand off to Jalen. Yep, he's going to fall forward. Yep. Probably for a first down. Very close. Clock's still running, so. Yes. Houghton's calling for call a third down. Houghton's calling for a. There it is. Yep. There's a little. Uh, I don't mean to be that guy, but it was a little uh, timely to get that first down call there. Yeah. That looked like there was con confusion there. Yeah. I hope there's not a loose ball. Nobody seems too excited, so I don't think that there is. Whatever the case, it looked like a busted play yeah. from the start. on the carry. Student and James Betcher on the tackle for the Lancers. Again, LaVille back to really packing the inside there. Really tough to get things going between the tackles. Pitch out there to Jalen. Got the fall manages, forward yeah, there. Yeah, managed to push the pile again. We, we've been back to that rough and tumble pile pushing running back situation we had going on there. That's good. So it'll be about third and six here. Two plays to go six. A couple of three yard runs here. Garrett Wagner on the tackle. Don't jump that time. We may take a time out here. We're going to go ahead and snap it. And we jumped ourselves. We shot ourselves right in the foot there. We'll be a third and long now. Dead ball illegal procedure against Cole. Five yards. Remains third down. So we'll be third and 11 now. I'm at the halfway mark in the fourth period. You get nothing really doing. Didn't handle that very well. Yep. I can't. It, it's been really tough to get anything going between the tackles here tonight, and that continues to be the case. And We'll be a fourth and eight. Brooks on the tackle. Yep. Looks like we're going to send punt team out. Fourth down. Send the ball away. Hope to stop them again. Count your people. Count your people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11. Hey, They're hey, calling for fake. I was thinking the same thing with our one punter out and we're down and with our slow moving offense. It's so maybe time for us to go for a fake right here. Yep, in fact we do, and we pick it up. Going across nice. the middle, squeeze the ball. Donovan Ziaja catches the pass. Wow. Takes it down almost to the 40 yard line. I'm not, I'm not one to be an I told you so guy. Let's see but, if we can catch that again. But uh, I did feel like this was a prime time for a fake. Who threw that? I, was it Donovan? I missed the who. I was just speculating there. I think he was the up back, but. <laughs> No, oh, big play. Yeah, regardless, we got it at the 40-yard line, folks. Big momentum help there, too. See what we do offensively? All goes to 40, and they go Good right to his ankles. Yep. Great tackling by yep. the Lancers. Couldn't really get going there. Got to get a good push out of our line so we can make a pile to push forward. If we, if we can get in a pile situation, we've been able to push these guys, but they've done a great job, as you said, of getting underneath us, tying our feet up and not giving us that chance.
And off goes to Zach this time. Straight ahead, nothing doing. So it'll be third and nine. Tackle by James Betcher. We're going to throw here. Rotated Carter out. That's usually what that means. Oh, it was the 40. Who's sub out there? Good run by Carter, but he stood up and drew him back. I thought I saw Blake come on. Did I, mis did I misread that? Fourth and four, though. Not in bad position here. And Evan Betcher, the Lancers. Fourth and five. Coach Hosterhauser, no doubt, is telling his guys, stay put, stay put. I wonder if Coach Daniels is going to let this run down. I think he's just thinking over what he wants to do and to call a timeout here at the end. Yeah, we get a timeout now. I think he's just taking a look, trying to look over his playbook. Yeah, that, that was, I thought, I saw Blake come on. That was Jalen the whole time. We're going to take a time out with them. This is Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, back here at the field. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this is, this is the play of the game right here. At least to this point. Fourth and about four and a half. If we get the first down, we'll be across midfield. If we can score, we won't leave them much time at all. Even if we score on this play, they won't have much time. Probably going to try to get a jump it. again yep. here, of course. It's my, it's my expectation. Nope, going quick snap. Going over the middle. Oh, it down nicely. They read it. That was, that was a good offensive call, better defensive play. Mm -hmm. It was there. It just great defensive play coming over the top, swatting it down. And Cavaliers once again turn the ball over on downs. Third time this game. Great defensive play. Yep, outstanding. So now we need a miracle here. 252 left. They've got the ball in our territory. Going twins away. Now offset back. They've, we've seen this formation a lot tonight. to see them throw the ball yep, at all, of, of course. Go option here. Spins back. Diving again. Swung just lunging and, and hoping. We, 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 have to, we have to buzz feet, break down, and make tackles. That's too much for a broken change play. of direction. Yep. Cavaliers opting not to take a timeout. He's going to go ahead and let things run. Hope to stop in this next play. Honestly, considering the first half, I mean, you ought to be kind of happy to be in this situation. Yeah, absolutely. To be honest with you. Absolutely. Coming out in exactly the same formation here. Motioning this time. Right at the middle. And he gets forward to about third and two. Cavaliers take a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is Culver TV brought to you by RTC TV4 with Cavalier Football. 
RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Right, back here at South Central High School. Under two minutes left. Your Cavaliers down five. Got third and one from about the 37-yard line. Wouldn't be surprised to see the Lancers go for a hard count here, try to get us to jump off sides. Center here looks like. There you got to send up back. Nope, they're going to the center. Pro formation. Go straight ahead here, I bet. Yep, straight ahead with the quarterback, and I think he's got it. Yep. That'll be the game. Yep. Can't come back from this now. Barring a turnover, of course. Yeah, if missed snap or something along those lines. That's good enough for a Lancer. As you said, coach, we had our chances here. Time and time again had our chances. Could not capitalize. Back under center again. Pro formation. Let that get right down under. Straight ahead again with the quarterback. That'll be enough there. We're going to go ahead and take a timeout. All right, so we'll take another break here. Here from our advertisers. This is Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV4, Cavalier Football. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in home Wi Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24 seven for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. All right, welcome back. Pretty much things in, in hand here. Not much we can really do about this. We'll have one more time out, but it's still gonna be awfully rough to get the ball back with any kind of time remaining to do anything. Maybe, maybe have a chance mathematically at a at a chuck down field, a trick play of some kind or something. But that's about it. Back to pro. They're going to hand off this time and miss tackle. Watts on the carry. It's forward to just shy of the thirty. If we're going to call a timeout here now. If we're going to, we need to do it now. We were out of timeouts, Coach. Oh, we are out of timeouts. We've used them all. Sorry. Yeah, so that'll do it then. Yeah, we had to use the one we were on offense, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. One more kneel and then. Yep. That's all she wrote. <coughs> so. Great battle here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Good uh, good job by both teams again, recovering from what was kind of a sloppy, slow start. Um, timeout, Will Bill. Will Bill goes and takes the timeout. We'll take it with him. This is RTC TV4, Cavalier Football. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I guess it's worth telling you we have uh, Lake Station coming up next week. I'll be... <laughs> 
we on the road to Lake Station, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So we take the long trip up to the region, play Lake Station next week. So Cavaliers have a very solid opportunity, a sectional title here. Got a very favorable draw in a in a in a, in a, in a sectional in which we have beaten or have had an opportunity to beat every team that we faced in that sectional. Um, and then there's a few struggling programs as well. So it could be a chance to hang another picture on the wall, but we've got to. Got to make sure we stay focused, uh, especially against a, a, a team kind of on the downturn like Lake Station next week. You don't want to lose your mojo in a week like that. Thanks again. I'd like to say thank you yes. to LaVille and uh, Hospitality as they've shown us here this evening. Yep. We will not be broadcasting from Lake Station, so you'll have to get in the vehicle and make the, make yeah, the trip out. Make the trip up. Uh, again, we appreciate you viewing with us here tonight. Um, your final is 13 to 8 in favor of the Lancers. For Chris Stevens and Colt Miller, I'm Mike Bushman. This has been Cavalier Football on Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV4.